Once upon a time, during the reign of King Stefan Batori, there was a town near Lublin called Helm. Catholics, Orthodox, and Jews lived there together peacefully. One day, Dominican friars from a neighboring monastery sold a piece of land to the Jewish community. And Jews built there a synagogue to have their own place to pray. But they needed a rabbi. Elia, young and well-educated in the best yeshiva of Lublin, became the rabbi of Helm. Rabbi Elia was extremely wise and shared his wisdom with anyone who asked him for advice. He was proficient in Jewish law and knew answers to every question, even the most difficult one. He even fathomed the most complicated and obscure secrets of Kabbalah, called sometimes the white magic of Jewish sages. Time passed peacefully. One day, a shamanist noticed the rabbi was very mysterious. He studied many books, stargazed, and made some complicated calculations. He prayed more than ever and fasted. Finally, he asked the shamis to bring him two bags of clay to the attic of the synagogue where he locked himself with books. Shamis tried to peep in at the door, all in vain. Rabbi Elia decided to work in solitude. Rabbi Elia spent a lot of time shaping golem from clay and mud. He wrote a secret name of God on a piece of paper and placed it in golem's mouth. While he wrote on his forehead the word emet, that means truth.
Rebbe used all his Kabbalistic wisdom and brought the clay figure to life. The very next day, the rabbi showed Golem to the amazement of residents. The creature could not speak, but it understood all commands. From now on, the golem was there to help Jews of Helm in tedious and burdensome tasks. And that's how it was. Golem's great strength and obedience was very helpful. He helped Shamus at the synagogue and Rabbi's wife or other citizens. Although he resembled a man, the golem could not think himself. Shamus asked him once to bring water to the synagogue, but golem did not know when to stop, and he brought so much water that he flooded entire synagogue. Another time, they sent Golem to the forest to collect firewood. It was almost Shabbat, yet Golem did not come back. Shamas and Rabbi hurried to the forest. They had to find him before the sunset, lest they transgressed Shabbat. They could not believe what they saw. Thoughtless Golem cut down almost the entire forest, not knowing how much wood to collect. Rabbi Elia noticed that although made of clay, the Golem was growing all the time. Rabbi became sad. He knew how helpful Golem was. He realized, however, that mindless power may be dangerous to people, so he decided to destroy Golem. If he will not stop growing, one day he may destroy the whole town, or even the whole world. Golem was already so tall that Rabbi could not reach his forehead. One evening, Rabbi called him to the synagogue's attic. He asked him to help with taking off Rabbi's shoes. When Golem leaned before Rabbi, Elia quickly removed first letter of the word emet from giant's forehead. And Golem fell apart because the word met meant death. Rabbi locked the synagogue attic for good, and that was the end of Golem from Helm. His memory lives on, and many people believe 
Golem was reconstructed in Poznan, Vilnius, or even distant Prague.